Hello and welcome. My name is Eli and thank you for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to show you a level one camper build designed for the Chevy Astro and GMC Safari. A level one build is a bed and storage setup designed to be removed in order to reinstall the second and third row seats back in the vehicle to return it to a passenger van configuration. So the first part of today's video, I'm going to show you the Chevy Astro with the seats inside. Later on in the video, I'm going to remove the seats, install the level one build and talk about the features of this particular design. So without further ado, let's get started on the tour. All right, folks, we're going to start today's tour with the exterior of this Chevy Astro. I have done multiple videos on my channel doing level three builds on the Astros. This one, I'm going to show it to you today as a level one, but I do have plans to upgrade it to a level three. To learn more about the package levels that I offer, visit www.horizoncamperbuilds.com and you'll be able to see all three different package levels, one, two, and three on the website. This is a 1999 model. This is also the all wheel drive version. They either come in rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. This uh, van is a single owner, clean title, low miles, 120,000 miles. You can see it looks to be in really, really good shape. Still has the original paint, no accidents. The original paint does look good for the model year. These vans are very popular because of their compact size, but also their boxy shape which makes them ideal for camper conversion builds. Let me go ahead and show you the rear of this vehicle. This one does have the barn door set up, but it also has the tow package. It does have a powerful V6 engine that allows you to tow, I believe, up to 5,000 pounds. These are very sturdy and solid vehicles. Let me just go ahead and walk to the side here just to show you how clean this van is and in a second I'm gonna go ahead and open it to show you the interior before I install the camper builds while the seats are still inside so let me go ahead and show you the interior of this van all right so let's go ahead and check out the interior of this Astro this is the LT model so currently all the seats are still inside the van. We will see the level one camper build in just a moment, but the benefits of having a level one is that you could easily remove it so you can reinstall the second and third row seats back in the van to be able to still use this van as a passenger vehicle configuration. So the interior is just as clean as the exterior. Everything in here works really good stereo is still original and you could see it does have the leather seats inside and they're in really really good shape they're very very comfortable seats so that's what it looks like in the front let me go ahead and open the sliding door on the side to show you the second and third row seats all right opening the sliding door on the passenger side we only have one sliding door on the passenger side there is no sliding door on the driver's side that's how they all were designed from the factory and this is a eight passenger configuration we got two in the front three in the middle and three in the back however it is more comfortable to have only two people sit on these seats because you know you do have an armrest with some cup holders in the middle but when you flip the armrest up you could see three people the same thing could be done on the third row seats these seats are easily removed. They are kind of heavy, so it is recommended that two people remove these seats. They're easily unlatched from the floor, and then you'd be able to slide them out through the back. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do next, is I'm gonna go ahead and remove the second and third row seats to install a level one camper build inside this van and show you this vehicle as a camper setup for up to two individuals.
All right, folks, so the level one build is installed in the Astro van. It took me about 15 minutes to remove the seats uh, and install this build, secure it to the floor. As you saw in the video, uh, it is divided into two sections. You got the front and rear section. And currently I have it set up in the one bed configuration where the bed is on one side, but it also acts as a bench. You could see the backrest right over there. Also, I went ahead and set up the Reflectix on all the windows for privacy. It was very easy to just apply them as well as uh, install this removable curtain and rod. Currently, the build is not finished, meaning I have not sanded and routed the edges because I am planning to continue and upgrade this build into a level three. And once I finish with the level three, I'll go ahead and finish the wood as well. I'll apply polyurethane, sand it, route it, and all that stuff. So let me go ahead and show you the features of this level one design for the Astro. So in the one bed configuration where the bed is only on one side, you have access to this drawer. This is a very large drawer, tons of room to store items inside, and it is on locking ball bearing slides. It does hold a lot of weight, and when you want to close it, it locks into position, meaning while you're driving, if you're taking turns, this drawer will not open. It would be remain in the closed position locked. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the drawer and I'm gonna enter the build and sit on the bed to show you what the view looks like from inside. You can see I have plenty of uh, room for my feet and I am sitting upright. This uh, is a very roomy interior and another person can actually sit on this side and have their feet rest on the ground right here. But this later can become a storage compartment once you close it up and turn this into a double bed. The mattress is a four inch thick folding foam mattress. It measures about 25 inches in width and 75 inches in uh, length. And then here you see when I pull back on the curtains, I have access to the driving area. The cool thing about the Astros is that there is no center console, so you can make your way from the driver's seat all the way back to the camper build without having to exit your vehicle. Okay, so I went ahead and closed the sliding door just to show you how stealthy the setup can be. While the Reflectix are on the windows, even though they are silver on this side, on the back side of these Reflectix, they are black. So you can't really see that they're on the windows when you have them on. And here, let me just kind of show you the curtain. Everything is nicely blocked off. I do have the interior lights on currently just to show you. It's a very nice, cozy environment. And if I go ahead and move over to this side, I could sit here as well, have my feet rest on the ground. I can lean back a little bit. And then also I can access this storage compartment. So that's pretty much what it looks like as a single person uh, setup. Let me go ahead and turn this into a double bed and show you what that looks like. Before I turn this into a double bed, I just wanna show you another storage compartment that you could use under the bed where the single mattress was on that side. So we have one mattress on this side and I'm gonna go ahead and unfold this mattress, place it right next to it. Let me just zoom out here so you could see what that looks like. So now we have two mattresses, tons of space in here, very comfortable setup, very roomy inside and now you have almost like a full size bed with some room to spare on the sides. They're about 75 inches long and now we about, we're about 50 inches wide. But taller people can also still fit here very comfortably because we do have more room in the front as well as more room in the back. So that's pretty much what it looks like 
as a double bed. What I'd like to do now is open those barn doors and show you the rear storage area of this build. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open these barn doors to show you the rear drawers. But also the cool thing about these doors is that you can open them even wider. By disconnecting this hinge, I can open the barn door all the way out, which gives me a little bit more freedom to move around back here. Let me go ahead and do it on this side as well. And there you go. So now they're out of the way and there's much more freedom to move about. Okay, so back here we have a large drawer also on ball bearing locking slides. And if I go ahead and open it all the way out, you can see now it's locked into position and it's about 35 inches long and it does have these built-in toppers on it. This topper opens this way, which allows you to use it as a flat surface area while accessing the content of this drawer. This stopper can also be used as a flat area, but also you can open it this way. It rests just like this, so it could remain open and you can access the content of the drawer on the back side. Earlier I mentioned about the storage compartment that can be accessed while you're sitting on the bed, but if you open it, again, we have another surface area to use. If you have a stove that you'd like to place here, you can close the stopper, do your prepping right here, you know, grab your pots and pans or have them here. I mean, you can customize the setup however you want. It is worth mentioning that you are still able to use the uh, interior features of the Astro. Like there's a cubby right here. There's a, another one that you can open, a cup holder, same on this side. So you could still utilize these features of the van with the build on. Also, your spare tire uh, tools are located behind this hatch so you can still take this out and access the spare tire tools. And there is a 12 volt outlet right down here, I don't know if you can see it, as well as a small storage compartment that is also accessible with the level one build. That's pretty much what the level one build looks like on the Chevy Astro and GMC Safari. So that concludes today's tour on this 99 Chevy Astro with the level one build in it. Stay tuned for the next video where I'm gonna take this level one and upgrade it to a level three and do another video tour on this exact vehicle. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Until next time, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.